Uh, boys, did you uh, did you watch the Women's World Cup? I saw the, the last game against part Germany. Of it. I was driving. Yeah, I, yeah. I was tuning back and forth. Beat the champion, World Cup, Rockies. True confessions. Chop. I was watching and fell asleep. <laughs> I what? slept right through the end of the game. Had to go to the internet to find the highlights. Well, the U.S. won last night. I mean, yeah. they won the They're World the Cup last now. night. No, they won the World Cup last night. Oh, you, the you two don't best think teams the final... played. No? Japan? No. England? England's not that good. We... <laughs> What's Jingoism. We Look at the, here we go. We <laughs> we won last night. Uh, that I mean that was they had had offensive problems, and I said on the show yesterday I thought they'd win two to one, and uh, Germany overrated Germany. They couldn't score. Germany had scored twenty goals. The United States seven. Yeah. And but Germany scored half of those against the Ivory Coast, which is not considered a world power in in soccer or anything else for that matter. W but, why do you think? The women's U.S. soccer team performs so much better on the world stage than the men's U.S. soccer team. The best the athletes, the women athletes, play soccer. Our best athletes, well, it's changing and evolving. Our best athletes don't play soccer still, at least at the highest level. The male level. athletes. Male athletes. Yeah. And I do, to your point, they play some of their best games on the biggest stage, and that can't be underrated. I'm not a soccer guy, but I watch the World Cup. You know, I'm that I'm that cursory fan who watches when it, it spins around every few years, the charm of it and the jingoism of it. But that team, they're admirable because they play their best when it matters most. And I like the fact that they're actually adjust on the biggest stage. They couldn't, as Woody said, they couldn't score. They're like the San Francisco Giants in the MLB. They pitch, they shut out everybody, but they can't score. And they adjusted. They, sub, they actually sub guys in and make adjustments. You watch the men's team, and it just feels like they're going to stubbornly, stubbornly follow whatever game plan they established five months before the tournament, and that's it. I love the fact that they, they were coached. They made adjustments. They got away with maybe a call on that free kick where the girl probably was outside of the box when she got upended. But, man, they're fun to watch. They're I, fun to watch. I, I, the I way they compete. The, the teams from the 1990s, I think, set us up for this, what's happening now. Yeah. Those women's teams that won Olympic gold. Yeah, with uh, Akers and Mia with, Hamm. With Mia Hamm and, and Michelle Akers and Brandy and, Chastain. And Foudy and Brandy Chastain and Brianna Skirt. I could name more players from the women's team back then than I could from the men's team. Yeah. I mean, if you ask me to name men's players from the U.S. soccer team back then, I could give you Lawless. Yeah, it's... Uh, the goalie was... Uh, uh, Keller, Casey yeah, Kel Keller, Casey Keller before so, Tim Howard. So women for the last 20, 25 years have have had this U.S. US women's soccer team as role models to go into this sport right. where the men really haven't had that. And I think it, it's continued. The success has continued because of that. I didn't realize they hadn't won a cup, though, since that magical moment yeah, since in Brandy Pasadena. Chastine taking her shirt off yeah. kinda is what people remember that I for. I thought they had won I, it I agree then. with you to a point, uh, I, I, and I'll keep this very short. Men in this country, I, there was a line two or three months ago, which I believe, LeBron James could go and get six of his buddies and win the World Cup. If the point is, in regard to that, if our greatest athletes, male athletes, would go play soccer, sure. we could dominate the world. We like grew would up be, playing it, sure. yeah. Yeah, that, that if African Americans, Latinos in this country, uh, minorities, if they decided to go into soccer as they once did to go into boxing and as they went into baseball right. football, and they went basketball. into football and basketball if they chose if someone said if, it, if Lamar Hunt was still alive and the Rapids are playing in the Lamar Hunt invitation or whatever that interrupts the season if Lamar Hunt had decided I'm gonna throw six billion dollars at athletes who come play soccer now suddenly you got people um, let's face it, in this country, you're playing soccer because you can't really play the other sports. Or your parents don't want you, or they want you to concentrate on soccer. Or baseball is arm problems, and football is concussion problems. And basketball, you're not talented enough to play basketball. Hockey is still not a major sport in this country, even though there are more rinks. If somebody had decided, if, 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 if Phil Anschutz, who's responsible for Major League Soccer, had said, I'm going to take my entire fortune and throw it in, because and he got into it a lot because his son, Christian, was a soccer player oh, okay. at one of the private schools. That's, that's his right. background. His son liked it. He said, okay, I'll buy a bunch of teams and have a league. <laughs> that women's, women athletes in this country generally could look to ice skating, uh, gymnastics, because right. they watch the Olympics, yeah. and then soccer. 
And so that's one. And number two is they've stayed together for 20 years. Yeah. Because where are they going with it? And I don't mean that in a bad way. There's no there's no, no professional, professional soccer, soccer. league. That's so you stay me. together. And that's what we're trying to accomplish. We, here it is again, we're trying to accomplish with Klinsman that let's keep this team together. Let's take the young guys. Let's actually don't let them play high school soccer and put them in our academies. That That's going to take an evolution of about another 20, 25 years to get up to the men's level, women's level, because the women have stayed together. They did have success in 1999. The, uh, Hope Solo has been around since you were a kid playing goalie. I don't know about that. <laughs> well, what's her name, the, the girl that comes in at the end, that, um, the blonde hair girl? Abby Wambach? She's been around. She just missed the 99 team. Yeah. And she's, what, 34, 35 to Woody's point? They stay together, and all these girls grow up playing, wanting. She was, you know, on that the first this group is of girls. their version of a professional sports right team. exactly yeah. like the hockey team and you don't you don't ever hear about women's hockey until canada it, and the united yeah. states play, play in the each Olympics. other right yeah. all right that segment sponsored by the lake street tavern three bars under one roof eighteen thousand square feet of space 60 hd tvs they had about 12 of them on the soccer game last night i stopped by lake street tavern is one block north of coors field named denver's best sports bar three years in a row by Westward, it's Blake Street Tavern. It's a 23rd and Blake.